Good evening, everyone. Thank you for 500 subs. Really appreciate that. This is a great video that I just discovered today. Um, so a lot of you have been telling me that YS Menu sucks and YS Menu throttles the CPU and YS Menu doesn't work with like 3D DS games or just like heavily modified uh, DS ROMs, like a let's say a Pokemon randomizer. So. Um, I was installing custom firmware on my sister's 3DS today, and I wanted to install Twilight Menu because Twilight Menu is a great uh, DS emulator, a GBA emulator, pretty much like most emulation runs on Twilight Menu. So then I saw an option for putting it on a flash cart. So I wondered, does this work with the R4 Gold Pro 2020? And sure enough... Um, it, well, it says for the auto boot listing that the R4i SDHC, which is this specific flash cart, um, works with auto boot for Twilight Menu. So we're going to show you how to, how to install it on your R4. So you can get Twilight Menu running on a DS FAT with no custom firmware. So, okay, this is kind of like a synopsis take, or what you'd call, uh, you know, telling you what I did wrong in the freaking video, because I am very bad at making videos. I'm very bad at scripting videos. So, what you should not do <clears throat> is put the freaking, um... Flash card, the entire flash card users folder um, in your, uh, let me go to it, let me get that up, uh, toilet menu, alright, shut the frick up WinRAR, um, do not put this entire folder into the root of your SD card, put this NDS folder and this NDS folder into your SD card. Do not put the entire flashcards folder in there. I am very stupid for doing that. All right, and now you're gonna see this this uh, synopsis Boolean Gemini at the end of the video when I tell you um, what my flashcard has inside of it. We're gonna head over to the computer. Okay, so we're here at a GBA temp thread where it says setup for flashcard users, including DSFAT slash DSLite. So first thing we're going to need is the Twilight Menu 7-zip uh, folder. So that is located here. And so just download the newest Twilight Menu folder. And go to that folder. Let's make it small. And then let's get our SD card and insert it into the, the micro SD card in our R4 and insert it into the c computer. Alright, there we go. And let's make this small because, yeah, we need some space here. So first thing we're going to do is extract... Here, I'm going to move this... Or actually, I'm going to move the root out of the way. So we're going to extract the R4, or sorry, we're going to extract the underscore NDS folder from the root of the, uh, what is this called, dot .7 zip, and the flashcard users folder to the root of the flashcards micro SD card. So flashcard users, we're going to move that, move this over to the root. And then, underscore NDS, we're going to move over to the root. And that should be... Oops, I put it in the wrong folder. In the freaking uh, root. I'll make these as small as possible. Then, we're going to extract the boot 
NDS file from the flashcard users to the root of your SD card. So there's two boots here. I'm just gonna do the regular one because I don't. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't want to put it in a folder. I just want to put it here. There we go. Boot NDS. All right, now. This is using your original flashcard firmware. Uh, we don't want to do this because, again, the original is time-bombed. So, yeah, we're going to skip this part. Now, go into Auto Boot and R4i SDHC, if you have the Gold Pro. Um, here are a list of compatible flashcards. Again, yours may, may or may not be compatible. If it's not, then that's okay. You can just skip this step. So, extract that to the root of your SD card. Again, here's that r4.dat file. Right in here, we get the r4.dat file that we used in our previous YS menu guide. <clears throat> so, here's a new one to launch into Twilight Menu. And then, yes. And replace. So, we're just going to get rid of Twilight Menu altogether. Because Twilight Menu has a GBA BIOS. Again, here's the BIOS.bin for the GBA. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then, we are going to... Okay, so, problem is, problem is, right? Okay, I, I didn't start in, uh, anything. Okay, this is good, this is good. So it looks like the problem is that I did not have NDS Bootstrap. So here I went to look up NDS Bootstrap again. I will leave this in the description. Um, actually, no, you don't need this. Go into Twilight Menu, go into the Twilight Menu uh, archive. All right, thank you, shut up. Go into the Twilight Menu Archive, go to Flashcard Users, go to NDS, and then download all of these BIOS files. Because these are the Flashcard BIOS. And then um, copy them to the NDS, to the underscore NDS file of on the root of your Flashcard. This will ensure you have the correct drivers, or not drivers, the correct boot files in order to run NDS games. So again, we're going to go back to the DS capture window because this was supposed to be randomized. I'm going to check. I'm going to quickly turn this off. All right. Mr. Fix the Video Boolean Gemini is back here again. So this is what my R4 currently looks like. Um you do not need this file, these files. You do not need this file or this file. I'm going to get rid of these, because these should not matter. And then just, um, yes to that. And your DS should be pretty clean. So now we're going to go over what I'm talking about when I mean, uh, preserve your YS menu stuff. So again, we have the r4.dat. This is the new r4.dat. This is the Twilight Menu r4.dat. We have boot.nds, which is the Twilight Menu launcher. This is what launches Twilight Menu when you enter YS Menu. We have the ysmenu.dat. This was, if I go, oh my goodness. If I go to my r4 backup, uh, this should be this file right here not the this is the original r4.dat when you download ys menu when you download the ys menu package watch the previous video if you don't know how to do that there should be a folder called tt menu or a file called tt menu.dat rename it to ys menu.dat and move it over to the root of your uh, sd card then tt menu this is the new 
TT menu folder, the merged TT menu folder. And then we have this folder, the YS menu folder. This was the TT menu folder when you download YS menu. So when you download YS menu, there's going to be a folder called TT menu. Rename that to YS menu, and then you can have both Twilight menu and YS menu. So make sure you have all those correct folders. And then finally, in your underscore NDS folder, make sure you have all of these drivers and and uh, boot fo boot files you need to have both nds bootstraps released both b4ds releases nds and you need to have these gba runners these are going to what are going to power your gba games so then there's a bunch of uh themes for you but uh, that's pretty much going to uh, do it as far as what you need on the SD card. These will not show up in uh, Twilight Menu. You have to uh, open GBA this one. You have to open that. So, now let's go into a DS Capture window. Let's take out the SD card and go into a DS Capture window to show you what I mean. So here's our DS capture window. I have just powered on my DS. Um, yes, just start your R4. So here we are in our YS menu. Again, we've this is loading from the YS menu folder on our SD card. My pictures are gone because they're in the TT menu folder. I'll transfer over my uh, backgrounds for YS menu. Here, we're going to want to, again, you can load the DS games that work. There are some DS games that don't work in YS menu. Sorry. Here's the GBA games. These will not work. Unless you load uh, GBA Runner 2, which you can do from YS menu. And then we're, there's boot.nds. Boot.nds is your entryway into Twilight Menu. Let me move the DS Capture window up a little. There we go. So now we're in Twilight Menu. You can run... So these two, these are the... Are both of the Pokemon White and Pokemon White 2. These are the normal games. These are the randomized games. Unfortunately, Twilight Menu does not read save files. It has to create a save file. So unfortunately, if you had previous save data, there is no way to get it back with um, Twilight Menu. That's why I would re highly recommend using YS Menu with every single DS game that you can. Sorry, I don't know why I'm so like sick now. But again, these if you're going to be using patched ROMs that are like very uh, CPU intensive, you're going to have to use Twilight Menu. Now, unfortunately, unlike 3DS, you can't just go into the GBA file and boot GBA games. You have to go into... I believe it's the underscore NDS file. Or, no. Sorry. Wrong thing. You go to GBA Runner 2. And then you can load all of your GBA games. Um, ROM hacks do not work. You can only play original games. If you want to play ROM hacks then you're going to need 3DS Twilight Menu. I'll try it here, but I don't think it's going to work. If it works, that'd be amazing. Okay, no, sorry. I uh, messed up. Again, ROM hacks do not work on uh, the R4 GBA Runner 2. However, on the 3DS, um, since it's it's using the SD card, you can play GBA ROMs off of Twilight Menu. Again, um, this is really unfortunate, but again, it still works with 
all uh, normal GBA games, just not ROM hacks. So that's going to do it for the synopsis, I guess you'd call it. So yeah, that's going to do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace out.